Welcome back to Brotato and today we are playing as Loud and we are going for something that you have requested for a very long time, the ghost eggs. Now on my channel you have seen plenty of videos about percent attack speed, right? We reach 500%, we reach 800%, we reach 1000% and even on a stream 1200%. But what we never did is the ghost eggs. Now there is a reason for that because I did attempt it in the past and there are a bunch of issues with it. Mainly, you don't really get to hit too many enemies with it, right? So the Ghost Flint, early on, it's trash. It's bad because it does pokey 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 damage. And later on, it uh, it just goes... It kills everything, right? But the Ghost X, not really. Like, yes, the damage goes up, but once you one-shot the enemy, there's no more benefit in getting more percent damage. And as you can see, I'm struggling a lot killing even these basic enemies. Now, I'm still figuring out how to do this properly for the highest numbers. But I don't think this video will be disappointing because otherwise you wouldn't hear what I'm saying right now and this never happened here this is usually how it goes you know i i sometimes start talking to myself here as well because i know the video is deleted or so but so hey dex how are you doing is it going good yeah yeah do we have fun here this is by the way a first try right now so <laughs> i just want to see what happens maybe maybe i uploaded Edo way you know just to see okay this was a try what went right what went wrong how much should we achieve what is it actually can you, can you let me know how much percent do i have it's in the title i guess or something well it doesn't help me i don't see it yeah stop that don't okay well so right now we have two ghost axes okay what do we need we need six ghost axes incredibly important that we can constantly hit the enemies we need survivability but most importantly we need attack speed but without re-rolling it because oh my god because money is very important and uh i have two ghost axes right now i also get overrun here Oh, the back would be okay, but no, we are looking for ghost axes and attack speed. Very important. So if you have never done a video like this, or a run like this, I should say, the thing that you want to focus on is really, you need the things that you want to have. You don't want the things like, oh yeah, that's 3 melee damage, I need that. Yeah, but the enemies have 20 HP and you deal 40 damage, why do you need 3 more melee damage? Well, because damage is good. Yeah, 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 okay, I get that. But there's something like the bag, if you don't get the crates, it's a gamble. Don't gamble. Gamble on the things that really benefit you. Don't gamble on 20 material, right? That doesn't really help you all too much. And count when we get the next bag here. It will take so long and I would have had less attack speed, means less kills, means less material. So I lost out there. It doesn't matter if it pays off in the future, if right now it kills the entire run. And my expectation actually is I will die. But again, if I died, then you don't see this video right now. So, uh, hello, future viewers. I hope you're doing fine. How is your day, by the way? How are you doing? Well, I hope you're doing well. And talking about how you're doing, if you like the video, then please consider subscribing and giving it a like so we can turn this number into a very nice one. That was the very first time I actually did a live integration of this, you know, where, where I'm playing and doing it. So, yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down or unsubscribe. I, I don't know what the reaction is. Uh, there we go. But we're getting a ton of kills here. And as you can see, constantly this plus one is popping up. Now, with the blue weapons, okay, why should we go for red weapons? Well, red weapons, they only require 12 kills to give you the bonus. That is great. But do you see how the enemies are overrunning me? This means we need more weapons because we have more than enough damage. Very nice percent damage, by the way. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, plus six damage, that is very lucky, but usually you don't get this, that you have huge damage on them. 45 right now, and what happens is you have one red weapon, it attacks a little bit faster, just a little bit than the blue weapons, but you only strike once. And then the enemies, they jump in and kill you, and kill you. And this will stay spicy for quite some time, I would say probably until wave 9 because wave 9 is one way you get spammed like crazy usually you get a huge amount of attack speed there which is like yep the game is over now i won here i don't think this will be the case i think what will happen is we will just get a ton of material and with that we can afford good items we can afford good weapons like we get six ghost axes now if i do this in the future again one thing that i have to look out for is i need to get more ghost axes with look out for means i just have to reset the game until i start with six of them you know that's usually how i do that to get really good runs but yeah that's a thing for the future 15 percent attack speed is of course beautiful even more gentle alien we have already three of them now we have a little bit more hp and damage that's also good there's the bag honestly now i can take it because right now the value of the purchase of the bag it, no wrong the amount that it costs doesn't matter to me. And I have to kill these eggs, by the way. That's very important. It doesn't matter to me because it's it was 34 or something, right? It, um, okay, this is a problem. Wait a moment. 
Uh, uh, like, I couldn't use the money in any other good way. While earlier, this was an entire weapon that I could waste with the purchase of the bag. And we didn't get a lot of crates. I think, did we get only one or zero even? Um, okay, this is a... <laughs> help. Help. To be fair, this wave is also spicy with the ghost flint. So it's not like it's different. But that doesn't help. Okay, that doesn't help if both are equally bad. Oh, my... <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh my god, the strikes. Okay, heal, heal, heal. I didn't get a heal. Oh my... Oh, 230. I mean, that was not great, but uh, let's take the armor here, okay? I, I'm a scared chicken now. I don't want to die. I want to see how this turns out, you know? Ghost Flint, okay, okay. Uh, Ghost Axe, not Flint. That is the wrong one. I'll take the armor and the dodge. My goal is get the dodge to 60%. Rely on that. Get enough armor that you take very little damage when you get hit. And then we go for attack speed. No, attack speed is my main priority. So in a perfect world, by the way, so talking about the future resets, you know, because no matter how this run will end, I will definitely try to beat it. I think what I need in the future is just every single starting wave has attack speed, so we attack more, so we kill more, and our percent damage makes up for the less damage that we have, you know. And that means we can just go bonkers, but that also means we are way more fragile, so something like the wave 7 will be ridiculously hard. But then again, with the ghost flints, the only reason why wave 7 is so hard is because I'm very greedy, the stuff that I go for to get the highest numbers. If I would just go for armor and things like this, then it wouldn't matter, or melee damage. On the ghost flint, in fact, melee damage is not good. You don't want that. But why do you not want melee damage on the ghost flint? The answer is simple. You want to kill the masses. So you only want to kill the squishy ones that respawn very fast. And that's what you focus on. You don't focus on, oh yeah, I have to one-shot even the tankiest dudes. No, that's doesn't matter. You want to kill the, the biggest boys. So here we have Wisdom. I think I will lock that. It's not a big amount of damage, okay? Negative 20% in the beginning also won't matter, but it may help with the elite fights. That is a thing that I'm thinking of. Here we have... Okay, let's actually think about this wave. So this is a spam wave, right? With the Ghost Flints, this is the time where you want to have red Ghost Flints because you kill so many enemies. It goes absolutely bonkers. Like, completely crazy. Here... It's actually really easy. Wow, I thought I would get overwhelmed and just almost die or something, or even die, you know. Um, this is a very interesting experience. Nice damage, by the way. Uh, yeah, this... Oh, um, um. <gasps> okay, it's fine. 19 HP, 20. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, there is a crate, dude. I want it. I want it. I want... <gasps> you know what? I don't want him. I'm, I'm fine without him. I can live without him. It, it's okay. But if I see him, I'll run to work. Uh -huh. I won't run towards him. I leave him alone. Game, I leave him alone. I leave him alone. Don't, don't, don't. Ooh. Ah, he, ha, ha, he, ha. Okay. 663. That is fine. That is fine. That, don't worry about it. 50% attack speed. 6% dodge. Huge. And we have another ghost axe. Okay. Beautiful. Then we also have the wisdom and the metal detector. No mouse. Beautiful. Second mouse already. Coupon. Nice. I. Hmm, eh, hmm. Do I want to have the HP? Yeah, I'll take it. It's just a little teeny tiny bit, right? It doesn't make a big difference, but. In some cases, this can be the difference between surviving and dying. Wave 10, is this a difficult one? I think this is a chiller one, right? Where we can just... Um, 70 damage right now, what? Oh, right, it got reduced, but wait, that is actually a ton. Th this is with wisdom, where it keeps scaling up, and we also keep scaling up because we get the bonus damage. Oh my god. How much damage do you think we'll have at the end of the run? If I can make 1k crits with 500 damage... That would be ridiculous. Oh, is that too far away? We have 70 damage right now. Is that too far away? 1k crit? <laughs> should, should we do one of those? If we reach 1k crit in this game, then you give the video a like. Yes, okay, let's do that. Okay, alright. We have something going there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's happened to you, Dex? I'm so disappointed with you. Now this wave is going completely fine. It's all good, okay? We got this going. There we go. Just gotta mow through to kill the masses of the enemies, get all the material. The material is especially important. And yeah, so all in all, there's a lot that can be optimized in this run, especially the first round. It was easier to kill the enemies, so I can get a double level up, and then we won't lose experience with the harvesting. Like, if you get, I think, to 69, uh, no joke, material, then you will get a double level up, and... What happens prior is you lose the free experience, right? That's normal with the harvesting, but... Ah, whatever, let's ignore that, okay? Well, let's hope for the best. I mean, I would really like to have a red one here, just for the reduced amount that it takes, but I fear I will just get killed if I don't have enough weapons. Okay, so we can kill the accordions here rather easily, that's good. 
Okay, well, more or less. Ooh, okay, the enemy starts speeding up. This could be a problem. The main issue being still, if they start hitting me, I have to be so careful that this doesn't start off a chain of hits. But with max amount of evasion, it should hopefully be okay. You know that I have enough time to recover. Oh my god, there are so many enemies. Uh, I really want to kill them. I need to kill them. Let me try if I can do that. I have to bump up armor, but at the same time, I just want to bump up attack speed so I hit more enemies. I also want to get a red axe. It's really sad that we haven't gotten more of them, but nah, nah, nah. You know, sometimes that happens. There we go. Okay, okay. So damage is definitely not a problem. Like, the problem is really just coverage with attack speed with enough weapons. I don't know. I think if I combine them, I really gamble this entire run to just lose it. Maybe in the future I'll try that, you know, to go a little bit more bonkers. But for now, I'm just happy by what we have. Sure, why not? 16% damage. Not really what I wanted to see there, but it's okay. And we don't need anything here. Lifesteal, no, also no. Ghost X, beautiful. You know what? I'll actually combine these to red one. We'll also take the base damage because this gets multiplied, so that's very helpful. Uh, another ghosty boy, beautiful. And we could go for the little muscly dude. I think, is that worth locking? I don't think it's worth locking. Let's just continue. So we have our first red eggs, but uh, let's take a look at this, okay? So it has 220 range. This has also 220 range. That just means all of my weapons have the same range. There's no easy way to get the enemies to be killed by the red eggs. So yeah, there's not really a big difference, I guess. <laughs> if it just had a little bit more range, you know, then it would be easier. I think this happens with the daggers that they get, I think, 20 more range or something like this for upgrade. I'm not all too sure about that, but I, there was just something that it was really worth it to upgrade them. Though I think with them it was more directional. Since they poke out, you can go to the side of the enemy, while here the axes, they just swing and they hit everything. Okay, there we go. I see a lot of plus ones and damage. That is beautiful. I like that. Okay, careful there, careful there, careful there. Ooh. I would also like to see a lot more gentle aliens. We have been incredibly lucky with the mice. But uh, gentle aliens, hello. You're cheaper. You should be easier to find. Where are you? You know, I just want to have more enemies. That's a thing. Ooh, careful. I'm a little bit scared about the waves where you have a ton of enemies that I can't deal with. Uh, let's take the luck here, I guess. I wanted the tag speed, but that's also okay. And Shmoopy Poopy is beautiful. We just got the fourth mouse. What? Wait, we have more. Wait, we have the same amount. <laughs> that's insane. Crit and dodge minus range. Sure. I'll take a Shmoopy Poopy chest, you know, to... We just got the fifth mouse. Okay. Uh, sure. That, there we go. And heal when you pick up HP. I think... This is looking very promising. We can still increase the enemy amount, but keep in mind, two gentle aliens are worth one mouse. So having the mouse is way more important. It's a little bit weird to say mouse when you talk about plural because it's mice, but the item is called mouse. I, I guess you would actually say mice then, right? Yeah, I think at least. Well, uh, careful there. Okay, these are a little bit annoying. I'm a little bit scared about the first elite fight. Now, to be fair, it should be somewhat fine if I just run away, but I want to kill him. I want to have the red item, get bonus damage maybe, or just something, you know. Even if it's just money, it's, it's good money, it's decent money. Though, then I would have just wanted to have a horde wave, yeah, 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 never mind. I think horde waves are just superior. I'm constantly looking at the things that I may improve for future runs. So, for example, things like get a double horde wave in the beginning, you know, that would have made a huge difference. And we'll go for armor here. It's just, oh my god, the second red one. Well, I think I'm better off if I get all purpley. Whoa. Uh, 5% lifesteal, 20% dodge. Don't really need this, but if we ever end up with, what is it called? Ah, uh, what is it called? Retromation Sooty. Ah, okay. Um, How much damage are we dealing? Do I not care about him? I could also ignore him for a little bit until Wisdom has stacked up, but honestly, we are dealing so much damage right now. I think I'll just uh, kill him. Yeah, look at this. And we have so much dodge, it doesn't really matter. Like, we won't get hit all too often. Now, to be fair, it's only 60%, okay? That's a little bit more than every second hit hits us, and we take a ton of damage. But as long as we can heal it up, I have to be careful that he doesn't kill me, you know? So let's run away a little bit. And there we go, let's swing at him, let's swing at him. Ooh, there are so many bullets flying around. I'm really happy that we already have 60% dodge, because otherwise this would be a problem. Now I will try to run through them, and hopefully I can clear them out. This is actually a valid strategy in this wave, that if you get overwhelmed by bullets, you run right into the bullets and try to kill the enemies to minimize the bullets. Uh, but as you can see, this has... Um, it, it definitely helped a lot. 
right? But it's also very risky because if you keep getting hit since it relies on the dodge, then you have a problem. But there we go. We got the gnome. Melee damage. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. I want that. And now I would like to have more melee damage. Sure. The ghost axe. There we go. This is also okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. And I'll be looking for Vigilante Ring. That doesn't really help us all too much. No, I don't care. Rip and Tear is actually helpful, but I don't think it counts as weapon kills. So we wouldn't get any bonuses. Let's just keep going. There is a normal one, really. That's what I'm getting here. That's not really fair. Oh, handcuffs could be huge. Let me think about this. So handcuffs right now at 370% damage pretty much give us, uh, what is that, 8 times 4.7, somewhere around 36 damage. No, it's actually more. Hmm, that is a lot of damage, but they deal 348 damage. <laughs> Uh, you know what? L let's let's ignore them, okay? Doesn't make a huge difference. If I find them later on, I will take them. That is a very nice start. I love it. But for now, we'll, we'll just ignore them, okay? They don't exist pretty much. Oh my god, why do we have so much damage all of a sudden? What happened? Didn't we just have 150 damage or so? Hold on. What? Okay, uh, interesting. It's definitely not the same thing as with the flints. Now, interestingly enough, the axes are to a degree easier. But to another degree, they are harder. So the flints, they scale up in attack speed, right? And then you just go and you kill everything. At that point, they are super easy. Here, I don't feel like I'm ever secure, but with the swings, we hit way more enemies and that makes it a lot easier. But I constantly have to stay on alert. This is important. Oh, we got two crates, not a third one. Maybe if I just kill a ton of enemies. I should definitely get some more luck because more luck means we get more crates. And... Uh-oh. Okay. I need to run through the enemies one last time. There we go. Oh, never do that again, Dex. Uh, I'll do it again. We both know it. Max HP, I will actually take that. Mm, maybe not, but I'll take it. And I want to have... Yeah, let's take the melee damage, sure. There's a gentle alien. More range will also help a little bit. Well, this round was really sad. I got a dangerous bunny, I got a little frog, and one shit alien, I think we saw it together. Yeah, it was not great. But I also got a little bit of bonus damage, so now we deal 400 with the red one. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. I think we can even one-shot these when they get buffed up. Yeah, look at this, easily. Wait, is this a way for I can just stand still? I think I always say that and then ranged enemies spawn and I can't do anything against them. Hold on, let me try this out. Well, it kind of looks like it. Yeah, look at this. So I definitely want to kill the buffers. So the issue is the game has a maximum amount of enemies that can be around. And if the buffers are around, then the others can't spawn. So you want to clear them. I think we can even kill these chunky boys easily. Oh, they take two hits. Really? How much HP do they have? Uh, there was a 600 and a 900 crit. Oh my god, I have to build up crit. You know, damage is nice, but um, critting is a lot nicer. Because it's like damage times two. It's like damage damage. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. There we go, let's get all the material. We'll lose a lot from the harvesting. The harvesting has built up like crazy. But now it's a little bit too, l <laughs> too late to deal with that. Okay, let's get the purple one. Let's get this one. That is um, th that is very beautiful, wow. Kinda wish we would've gotten... That is... Yeah, sure, it's not perfect, but we have so many enemies that we kill. It could be good for them. And let's get the luck. Do I want to combine them to red one? I think I'll do that. You know, just one of them. Now we only have five left, but we have four reds. Look at this, okay. Maybe I don't even need a fifth one. Because they swing. Yeah, they hit most of the enemies while I walk around. Mm, every single time I say that I regret it and then I want six of them. Let's just stay with five, maybe. That would save me some money that I could spend on improving them instead. Yeah. But that would also mean the final fight takes longer. I think if I find a red one, I will buy it as a six one. But aside from this, I will not buy more of them, except for, you know, the purple one to get it up. Ooh, this is looking spicy, though. Yeah, no, I may want to have the 6-1 regardless. Okay. What is our damage looking like? 538? They are now we always... Oh my god, 1k crit. We just exceeded 1k damage on a single strike. How far do you think can we take this if I optimize this run? Like, this is not an optimized run. This is just a random run. We got incredibly lucky with the mice. But if we start with a double horde wave to kill more enemies, um, th this could go insanely crazy. If we are also lucky, you know, that's a given. More armor, I'll take it just to not die. Hunting trophy a little bit late. My crit is negative. That was actually pointless. Okay, great. Good, good job there, Dex. We have another purple one. I think I will definitely combine them, I would say. More damage minus range. Focus. 
No, we don't want that. That's really bad. Yeah, that's incredibly bad. More range, and I'll combine them up to red ones. Now we only have red ones and 1% crit. Yeah, that, that, that was worth it, the purchase. Okay, so how fast do we... <laughs> Um, yeah, the answer is we, we kill the boss very fast. Um, okay, that, that, that's working out. I think what I really need is attack speed. You know, big numbers are nice. And I'm always a huge fan of just making the numbers bigger instead of going for the optimal thing to kill the enemies the fastest. But I think this time maybe I'll go for some attack speed. You know, just that we go chuk 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 and kill everything even faster. Oh my god, we crit for 1.2k right now. I have to build up crit. Okay, attack speed, crit, damage, even more damage, even more crit. That is right now the focus. Okay, okay. Ooh, okay. Um, uh, how am I still dying? I guess the enemies have too much range. Yeah, and then they hit me. That means I need some armor. No, we don't need armor. We don't chicken out of here. We will do this. How it's done right. Jetpack. That is uh, pointless. Yeah, great. I just lost a lot of armor, by the way. That is the thing that I didn't want to lose. Even more enemies. Oh, bonus damage. It's not a lot, but, you know, it, it's fine. We have another ghost axe. No, I will take the crit instead and the melee damage. And the ghost axe. Okay, sure. Wait, hold on. I have 15 armor. How am I taking so much damage? Oh. But we went up from 1% crit to 16% crit. Okay, that, is a, that was a very fast change. 1.27k. Oh my god. Can I just stand in the middle here? Like, who of them is supposed to really hit me? Fast enemies, I guess. Yeah, that's a problem, you know. We don't attack very fast. I think if I do this again, I have to make sure that I have enough attack speed. But let's see. We even kill the big boys here. One shot. One shot. <laughs> okay. So I guess the safest position for me is actually to stand still. So if I ever take a ton of damage, don't run away. Just stand still and kill the enemies. Yeah, look at this. They can't do anything, but I want to take care of the buffers, you know, that they don't annoy me anymore. Oh, there we go. I didn't even look at our percent damage for a while. I want to see that. Oh, wow. There's sadly no character who gets bonus percent damage as far as I know, as in faster scaling with it. Maybe I missed one, but I looked over the wiki and I found one, but this is, um, I mean, this is beautiful, you know. I don't want to change that. 873 after we lost the harvesting. That is not bad. And what do we want to have here? We could go for attack speed, but I think I will go for... Well, okay, let's go for attack speed. I want to go for melee damage, you know, to, to skyrocket it. But, nah, game doesn't want it to appear. It's fine. It's okay. Even more enemies doesn't really matter for the final wave. This is huge, though. We could go for... No, the free roll is not worth it. Oh, my God. Yes, game. Yes. <laughs> 792 damage. Okay, but just imagine, we would have gotten a Retromation hoodie. It gives 10% dodge, so 123%. That's almost 250% attack speed from one item. This is a 1.5k crit, okay? And hold on, hold on. L look at this, okay? So right now, 778 times 2 with a crit, but this is without wisdom. Well, okay, to be fair, wisdom will not make a huge difference. We will try to take on one of the bosses. Um, th 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 this is our weakest point, by the way. This is our weakest point that we have right now. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. I have to be a little bit careful, but what I want to do is, let's just run away from this dude, okay? Let's build up a little bit more percent damage. Let's get wisdom build up. And in the last five seconds, or if I get to low HP, because this is looking a little bit dangerous, I will take on the boss, because then we have the most damage possible. Look at this, look at this, okay? Do you see that? 1.6K, 1.6K. We are dealing 1.6K damage right now. Do you see that? Do you have eyes? Oh my god, we just almost killed him by passing him. <laughs> it's, it's, um, yeah, okay. Uh, um, how much percent damage do we have? 777. Seven, seven. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. No, it increased because we killed enemies. Oh, I wanted to finish on 777. Seven, seven. That would have been amazing. Nah, it's okay. Oh, um, ah, ah, go away from me. <laughs> Why do I have to save the boss? Oh my god. I just want to see the highest crit damage I've ever seen. Come on, come on. There are some weapons that easily top this, right? Because they have a huge amount of damage. But I didn't want to change out to a sniper rifle or something like this. Well, okay, we have no range damage, so that's actually not that helpful. But uh, we could have taken range damage, right? Um, okay. <laughs> 
I didn't want to die there. Well, um, yeah, that was absolutely insane. That was absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. And I'll get working on this number exceeding 1000%.